going to talk about how to make the most out of Infosecurity Europe's marketing plan. Going to give you some more insight um, into who our customers are, their needs. But I think the most important point on this slide is that over the past two years, our visitor numbers have increased by 50%. And that, again, is one of our targets to keep those visitor numbers growing. So, who do we know our customer? Who is our customer? So, I think one of the key points of who comes in there is the 26% of the technical experts coming in there, which is uh, very important. And I think it's really important when we talk about actually the stands and the type of activities that we're doing on the stands. And then next in line is the 18% of new people, new people becoming to the information security market. And then, of course, not forgetting our senior end users, our, um, our CISO levels at the 17% as well. So we asked them, why do they come to the show? Primarily, they want industry knowledge, and they want industry knowledge that comes through talks and presentations, and those be whether they're in our own content program or the demos that are going on the stands or any of the speaker slots that you two um, have um, acquired through the show as well. The other key thing is to, is to meet and find new things in the, the industry. What they want the new products and they want to understand what those new products are doing. And then the third thing that they really want to do is to network with their peers. They want to be able to share conversations and different segments of our audience want to do that in a, in a different way. Um, and we have built the features out on the show to facilitate that networking. So for a good example of that is we have a large technical audience coming to the show. They want to have peer-to-peer -peer networking. So what we're building for them in 2018 is Geek Street, which is their ability to go in there, listen to talks, we have whiteboards where they can share thoughts, and then they can talk to each other over a beer. And, over, and they tell us that they like networking over solving problems. So what are they saying really? They want clarity of what your products are and why they're being sold. And they want to be engaged with before their badges are scanned. They seem to be saying to us, actually, we're happy to have our badge scanned, but we want to have a conversation. You know, don't stand at the top of the stairs and badge scan us. You know, have a conversation with us on the stand and make it a much more sort of two-way um, process. What they really do like is the ability to come on the stands, have a demo, have a beer and have a chat with somebody. We also did in-depth focus groups with 40 of our key visitors and we asked them what they loved about the show and what they more that they wanted to see and I'm going to share some insight with you around that and what they wanted, the key findings that came out of it. Now these big circles are the key aspects that came out of it so there were things around the speaker, things around the practical learning, the way we present the content, networking and getting technical. So in terms of the speakers, so whether they are speakers within our keynote program or speakers on the other seven theatres that you may be providing to us, they really want the ability to talk to them after they've done their presentation. So a really simple thing would be to actually, if you've got speakers presenting at the show, just to let them know, hang around, people do want to ask questions of you privately. And it isn't just about engaging with the speakers at the show. They want all the year-round knowledge. So actually, when a speaker has been talking about a, a particular problem or a solution to that problem, they want updates on that problem throughout the year. So it's also good to consider things like webinars and po podcasts. A lot of debate is generated at Infosecurity, and they want to be able to follow up on that rather than waiting to the 2019 edition. Getting technical. So I've shown you the stats about the size of our technical audience coming in. On the stands, they really want to talk to your technical experts. So they want to be able to ask those nitty gritty questions about problems and solutions and have a very technical conversation. So those were the uh, key insights. And I'm going to give you a little bit more about actually our marketing plan and what we're looking to do. As ever, we're looking to grow our audience year in, year out. And we do that by establishing new media partnerships and advertising in vertical market publications. So we've increased the number of those partnerships that we work with in specific sectors like FinTech, um, public sector, healthcare, broadening out our reach to reach into all of those verticals 
we also do a very customised email marketing campaign. So all of our visitor database is totally segmented around their needs and actually every week we produce a huge volume of emails that's very specific to each of those visitor types. We're doing more direct mail. We always do a large increase, uh, a large amount of direct mail and we use the magazine as well to push the me message out on the show. Um, we're doing digital programmatic, social media, all the things that you would expect from from a technology show. So you can work with our marketing teams before the show, tell us what your products are doing, how you can get involved. We have all of these tools that would enable you to do that. Um, my event and updating all of your information on the exhibitor portal. We do a lot of print. When, when we have your details, we push it out on every form of communication that we have going out. So it's really important that you put everything into the exhibitor portal to enable us to do that. Um, and then, of course, during the show, engage with us on all the social media um, that we're pushing out and the hashtags. Um, and then after the show, we, you know, we're running webinars as well through the magazine, and that's too a good um, post-show, continuing the conversation marketing tool that we've got going. Also, with your own marketing, uh, we have several... Um, initiatives. So last year we launched, as an example of that, we launched Infosecurity Week. And the purpose of Infosecurity Week is to gather all the events that are going on around our week in June. So whether they're actually in the show at Olympia or you're hosting events outside the show, we actually want to know about all of those for our visitor audience. So you can upload those details into Infosecurity Week. It pushes it all out to our audience, and it's a really good way of continuing the interest that's around the show in the week in June. So in summary, I'm just going to pick out some of the uh, key points in here, actually. Um, number three, online presence. We use the information that you give us on our website to drive a lot of the content that we're pushing out there. So it'd be really important to do that. And just keep us uh, engaged in what, what you're doing and tell us about it.